Hey guys, welcome back to Learn AP. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be going over calculator policy. So basically, when can you use calculators, which calculators are allowed, which aren't, etc. So let's jump in. So let's first talk about calculator use. You're allowed to bring a calculator, but you can only use it on the free response portion of the AP test. So you're allowed to bring two calculators if you would like, certainly don't have to. And you may bring either a graphing or a non-graphing calculator. So if you do bring a non-graphing calculator, this would include a four function or a scientific calculator. Although this is cheaper than a graphing calculator, I would recommend not using this unless you want to get a two on the AP test. What you really should use is a graphing calculator. This is a must have if you want to do well on the AP test. Now, if you want even more of an advantage, consider getting one with a CAS or a computer algebra system. Although a CAS won't do everything, it's great to check your answers. But note that if you do use a CAS, that these will not be allowed on the ACT, so you would have to buy another calculator. So something to keep in mind. All right, so on the screen now is a list of approved graphing calculators for the AP test. So if you're wondering whether your current calculator is allowed, simply just check this list. You can click the annotation or look at the link in the description. Now, this seems like a lot, and it is, so you're probably wondering, well, which of these should I get for the AP test? Which one of these is the best? And I'm going to run through those real quick. I've included links to buy these on Amazon in the description if you're interested. There will also be an annotation on screen. You can also find most of this stuff at Best Buy, Office Depot, Target, and Walmart. Note guys that I'm not getting paid to say any of this by these companies. These are just the ones that I used and that I liked. If you buy from that link in the description, I do get a small commission from it, but you guys don't pay anything extra. I use that to keep the lights on here as it were. It helps us keep this channel running and free and continue to help you guys. If you do buy, we really appreciate it. But that being said, if you don't want to buy from there, that's totally fine as well. If you have other questions about calculators or calculator policy, leave a comment and I'll help you out. All right, so let's run through my recommended calculators. And the first one is the TI-84. This is the one that I used. It's very solid uh, all around, not really much to say about it. You can't really go wrong by using this. Similarly, you can use the TI-83. It's basically the TI-84, just a little less functionality, but it should be completely fine for the AP test. If you want to go the CAS route, I would recommend getting the TI Inspire. So this is going to be sort of the higher end option, but remember that this is not allowed on the ACT. So in addition to this, you need another calculator if you plan on taking the ACT. If you don't want to buy from TI, I'd recommend the Casio FX9750GII. This is also a very solid calculator, as well as the HP50G graphing calculator. Again, links to all these will be in the description to buy on Amazon. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where we post regular updates about our channel. Links for that will also be in the description. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos.